chapter 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me, and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. If you'd have said to people in the early weeks of 2020 that the world was going to be like it is at the turn of 2022, they'd have laughed at you. They, ha they would have said, that's ridiculous. You know what they would have said? We would never let that happen, right? And then two years later, it's all uh, happened. And what this has done for lots and lots of people it's, um, it's got, they got them to a stage of basically all bets are off. If this is possible, what's happened? Anything's possible. They have a time scale to 2030 for absolute transformation of human society, um, including the, um, the widespread connection of the human brain to artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence becomes the human mind. The script that's been unfolding since the card was played it does not end now, clearly. I mean, it's pushing on. And in this script ongoing will be many, many other um, events, claims and happenings that will be designed to push for, and I've just asked people to keep this in mind, to push forward towards this Hunger Games society. Remember that structure uh, as these events unfold. Because if you look at lockdown, lockdown was economic destruction of businesses that were not in the cult corporate network. This is why the great corporations, the cult-owned corporations, have uh, increased their market share massively while small business and medium business have gone under in enormous numbers through lockdown. Lockdown was part of the creation of that dependency of the population because while you have independent business and independent employment, independent of the, 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 the few at the top, the cultures I'll call them, then you do not have dependency which equals control. But if you can destroy that independent um, business network and destroy that independent income, at the same time that you are um, taking jobs galore from people using AI and technology, then you are bringing people into a state of dependency upon the few. So, uh, you've lost your job and you lost your business and oh yeah, your job's gone to AI. So, um, how are you going to uh, put food on the table? Um, and this is where, I've been writing about this for decades. And it's now being trialled all over the world. Not trialled, it's being introduced. It's called the guaranteed income. And the guaranteed income will be a pittance relatively. Um, that will be given to people um, who have no other form of income, which is increasingly more and more people, but it will come with, um, with, with consequences. You get your guaranteed income only if you do what you're told. So um, what we're looking at is if people want to see what this Hunger Games society is, supposed to look like, then look to China. Because China is the blueprint on which this global system, which the era was designed to push on massively and has, um, China was the blueprint. And it, it, it might be worth that, because this will be part of where it goes from here. Uh, just looking at the sequence of events, 
that led us to where we are now in the West and indeed the rest of the world. The Mao revolution in China was a cult revolution. Mao was the cult's guy. And the whole foundation of it was to create a closed society of utter tyranny where when um, the, the tyranny in power said this is going to happen, there wasn't a debate, it just bloody happened, which meant that they could move real fast with this system. There was some lip service to freedom, democracy and debate, so everything could move slower in terms of moving to this um, dystopian system. So the idea was to incubate within China a system of mass control, not least based on AI and technology, which when it was perfected would be played out across the world and become the global system. So what happens if people haven't come across it is there are millions of um, surveillance cameras in every Chinese city and AI, and by the way, the the AI cutting edge that we're told is not the AI cutting edge. It's just what we're told is the cutting edge. The AI um, system in China is tracking and logging and monitoring people in real time, 24 seven. And it's logging whether you are behaving in ways that the government wants or whether it's in ways the government doesn't want. If it's the way the government wants, you get credits if it's not, you have them taken away. And once you reach a point where you've, um, you've lost enough credits, you can't fly, you can't go on a train, you can't basically operate in mainstream society. It's a system of total control. Now, they're saying if you don't do what the government tells you to do, then you can't operate in mainstream society. You're excluded from society. Now that's just what happens in China because it's the Chinese system going global. The plan is this, if you don't um, live your life according to the, the, the carbon Bible, then you'll lose your passport as well. And if you, you, you will have known that they, they are bringing out um, credit cards now that have a carbon limit, which says once you've passed your carbon limit for the, say the month, you can't purchase anything else with that card, right? And, and this is where the whole thing is moving. And eventually this currently green pass will morph into the social credit system of China where your entire life will be dictated to by your behavior. And if you don't behave as the government wants, then you'll be excluded from society. We have experienced in the last two years um, in our face that the techniques of human control that have been in the shadows and much more subtle and people don't see them. It's been put on public display and See, I, I said years ago, there's going to come a point where this agenda has to break the surface where people can see it. Because at some point, what they have been manipulating towards under the radar has got to break the surface if it's going to transform society. At some point, this transformation has to become obvious. And that's where we are. It's broken the surface. We're now seeing, well, more and more people are seeing, where this is heading. And it's heading into a level of human uh, control via AI and technology that um, Orwell will be somewhere shaking his head and saying, God, I so understated what is happening. Uh, but in the end, again, um, Ted Ross, Director General of the um, World Health Organization. What did he say right at the start? The Chinese response is the way everyone should respond. What was the Chinese response? Draconian lockdown, which became the Western model.